Hello to everyone who's watching this footage. It's Leviathan here, and I've got another storyline for another character in my Leviathan universe. I'm going through some, like, some difficult circumstances, and I'm trying my best to avoid seeming too prolonged between footages, because I don't want to leave you guys hanging or anything. So bear with me, and I'm going to read you a short story of how a character known as Kydericus came to be. And it, here is the story right here. Kydericus number one, the beginning. Created and copyrighted by Levi Corsi Ames, July 17, 2015. To begin the story, we start traveling across Tokyo, Japan, where we end up going into an apartment with a, with a woman living and eating her breakfast there. This story is particularly about her. Her name is Kiko Marakami. Her mother is a Caucasian woman, and her father is Japanese-oriented. Kiko currently works at the local nucle nuclear plant, where she studies the physics of nuclear radiation. Unfortunately, Kiko's phone rings and she gets some bad news from her father. Hello? Kiko, there has been a horrendous event. event. Your mother's dead. What? She replies in shock. She was driving to the grocery store when she got into a collision with a petroleum truck. It exploded and it just killed her immediately. I don't want to upset you or anything, but... And she hanged up in grief. After that, she decided to go down to her work to just try to get all of it out of her head. However, Kiko found herself standing on top of a metallic railing just a few stories above a vat of radiation. She hallucinated from her memories that her mother was calling to her to get a hug, but she tripped on an angular protrusion on the rail and fell into the vat. For a time, everybody thought that Kiko was dead, but a month later, it was revealed that she transfigured into a 458-foot-tall, 88,000-ton lizard woman. She now has red eyes, Sharp claws on her hands and feet, reptilian-based features, a long swatting tail, and is mostly covered with solid green scales. Due to her newly formed transformation, she completely lost her humanity and started destroying Tokyo. Luckily, a character known as Gymoscoricus, queen of the Amazon island of Gynamica, eventually arrived to confront the creature that was now known as Kaijiricus. When she finally got her attention, she said to her, You must be what the locals call Kaijiricus. You know you've got to think twice before trying to destroy innocent lives. Kiko then blasted her with both a green nuclear ray beam from her mouth and a solar beam from her eyes, both striking onto her torso. That is it, she yelled as she unsheathed her available weapons, which are a pair of Escalibers for her lower arms, and a pair of handheld ray guns for her upper arms. She has four arms. After a while of fighting Kaijiricus, she finally stabbed her in both of her armpits, which are revealed to be her two potential weak spots. After roaring and shrieking in agony, she finally left the city and sunk down into the deep ocean depths. Luckily, after a long while of he healing, Kiko slowly gained back both her humanity and her memories from before her transformation. Now she admits to herself, that was an embarrassing first impression to those people. From now on, I'll make sure that mankind will be protected. No longer a threat to mankind, Kaichirikus goes along as a self-proclaimed queen of the mutants, doing all that she can to defend the defenseless. The End well, hopefully you guys are able to keep up with me reading this, and hopefully it sounds like an interesting character to you guys. I also have a couple of new illustrations, some done by one done by myself, and a few that I've done from a friend of mine who was willing to do illustrations just to do me a favor. Here is my illustration of the character of Cosmic. He's wearing, like... A braid bun on the back of her head, as you could identify, you know? And remember the story of Colossa, 
fighting against Cosmic. This is my illustration of her. This is my friend of mine's concept art of Cosmic, but it's it doesn't have to be official due to it being concept art, you know? And here is a brand new illustration for the character I've revealed a few footages ago known as Pim, which is also done by my friend to do me a favor and such. Penelope Ingrid Myers. Pim. As you could tell, this guy is like normal height, so she's practically 15 feet tall. I hope this video is efficient for you guys, and I hope that in the future you guys would be able to bear with me if I have any issues when it comes to collecting proper data and developing data and such. I don't want to be that kind of person who's willing to leave people hanging when they want to learn more, which is a good thing because that shows at least I have some fans out there that are willing to hear from me, if at all at least. So everyone enjoy your time and um, it's Leviathan, um, if you guys want to hear more about my creations, just like and comment down below, and subscribe if you want, it's your choice, and, um, I'll see you guys in, by the next installment and such, just bear with me and enjoy your times in transmission.